hello everyone welcome to part 37 of laravel 9 series so we will continue working on the brands module in last video we able to create uh, we able to insert the brands we can see in our table brands table we able to create the table with migration and insert some brands with header so in this video we are going to uh, show the brands here we have created that left sidebar as well so we are going to show the brands here with the current operation okay so we can quickly do that uh, we are already having uh, we have already made the section module see here you can see the sections module and brands are similar to it so everything just we need to replace the section we are going to make the copy of the sections and and it is not the uh, that it, it will not take that much time okay so we are not required to do everything from scratch wherever we require the copy we can just do it so that we can spare time to do other activities okay so um, now we need to uh, work on the brand so for that first of all we are going to create the routes and here what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this complete sections route because all these routes are required one for displaying the sections and one for updating the status of the section one for deleting the section and one for add and edit operation so all these are required i will just copy and will paste here and will make changes okay so it will be really easy for us okay so we can see here we can simply do this task okay so here we will make brand we can make the changes like this So see here, we have the brand controller, check the brand controller here, okay fine. So we have replaced the section controller with the brand controller and we have replaced the section with brand because we are going to have the brands route and we are going to have the update brand status route, we are going to have the delete route and add edit brand route, okay. So now it's fine, so we are going to open the section controller as well, see how quickly we can do this task here see uh, we are required to add the branch model and session that also we can quickly do it and also these complete functions we can copy these functions as well okay because we require so here we are going to add the model first that will not take any time brand model and after that we are going to use the session as well because we require to uh, select the left sidebar with the session and now we can just paste these functions and uh, we just require to uh, see we are just required to uh, select the section and we'll convert it to brand and now we will just uh, select the section this uh, with cap uh, at the starting uh, s in cap at the starting okay so just we are going to replace it with the brand okay so this is done how it is uh, how easy it is okay so once again we are going to check so it it has been done so now we are going to create that folder uh, similar to the sections folder under resources views admin and here we have the section folder and these two files add uh, these two files here uh, sections file to display the sections and add add edit file to display uh, to add and edit of the section so same thing we are going to do i'm going to copy this file simply okay copy this folder and we'll uh, rename it to brands folder and also going to rename the files to here I can just make it brands and section I'm going to make it add edit brand section okay fine it is so these two files I'm going to make changes in these two files first of all I'm going to make change in the brands or blade or PP file again see I'm going to select all see this section and this end section we are not going to replace because these are the system keywords okay the keywords we are not going to replace with the brand only the inner html part we're going to replace from this one inside the div okay so what we can do 
even then we are going to replace all after that we are going to make the change don't worry about thing uh, okay to save the time don't worry we know that we have done this mistake but we are going to rectify it okay and also we are going to update this one as well okay make sure you don't have any other class uh, that is related with some other thing okay so make sure that everything you are going to do be before making the changes you just review that which things are selected here okay so after reviewing uh, we can sure now that we can convert it to brand and that we can do and here we can see it has been done and after that this thing we can change again to section this one and also and section and our file is ready now we can go there and i'm going to refresh and we'll click on brands tab and here uh, it has been not done it means that some issue here with the brands and uh, we're going to check what issue exactly with the brands we have saved the file make sure to save the files as well okay now it is done you can see brands are ready okay you can see all the brands are coming here and uh, from this file and one more thing uh, make sure the uh, data table uh, id is for the data table so open the custom js file and here we need to add the brands data table so that it will come in data table with all the features like search and paging okay you can see the paging here search here okay and search we can search any brands if there are 50 brands okay and we want to search some specific brand like lenovo you can simply search it okay so it is really useful feature so we are using the data table so just give their id here uh, see uh, give the id so that we can call the database class okay so also uh, we are going to copy that uh, for category status we are going to copy that like update category status so this one we are going to copy this part uh, to one more like for the brand okay so this one we can do here uh, brand and also for this one category to brand okay so now we can try here we can try making the status active and inactive like if i will make few status inactive so refresh so it's actually working so the status of the three brands is inactive okay if we are we are not want to show those specific brands on the website okay then we can disable them easily disable them okay we can make them active as well see refresh and it is active you can see these brands are now active so it is working on real time with ajax okay so we have done that active and inactive and lead functionality dynamics so that we are not required to make any change when we are going to do any module see the changes are already done so it will save our time okay so always do the function dynamic kind of function that we are not required to modify in future uh, we are not uh, required to create the new functions okay so here for delete functionality as well uh, but first of all we are going to check the add functionality and and for add functionality we still are required to make the changes for added brand as well so here also we are going to do follow the same thing we will make it to brand and after that for the section as well we are going to uh, update the section here as well brand and now we are going to rename this one to section and here we can make it and section okay so i'm going to search here okay so i will add one new brand uh, like uh, any brand we can add we can add the iphone okay so iphone summit okay so iphone is there so now uh, it's fine brand added successfully we can rename this brand as well like if i want to make it plural uh, submit and see iphone is working fine brand added successfully so if i want to delete this brand so check this dynamic functionality working or not because we have just copy and 
edit all ids and class uh, from section to brand so it is working fine as well see the advantage of the dynamic things so now you can simply cancel it if you don't want to make change or you can simply delete it okay so we can check the delete functionality yes delete it so it has been deleted. the brand has been deleted stressfully because we have already copied all the functions from the section controller to the brand controller and uh, make uh, see we have done uh, the validations as well lead uh, functionality as well so also we will try to uh, see I'm going to refresh here and we'll try to edit and if I will uh, add some numerics here submit then it will ask us to where the valid brand name is required okay though you can allow if your brands uh, if you think that brands are having the numeric numbers as well then we can uh, remove this validation okay so like this we can able to do all the brands okay so you can uh, try this one at your end uh, so from next video we will start working on the products module so products will have the brand id and products will also have the vendor id vendor type as well vendor id and sorry admin type as well okay product is going to be added by the super admin or product is going to be added by the vendor okay so vendor specific products we are going to add in our uh, admin panel and uh, and every uh, every uh, vendor is going to have the shop as well uh, can create their shop in our website and we'll show the, all the products there and all, all those products uh, will contain some kind of brand and also don't forget to add the other brand okay so you can also specify here the others submit because other is required if you want to and you can see here we uh, if we delete some of the brands so we will uh, see its entry will get later okay so so that and make sure uh, like if you are deleting some brand so it can reflect uh, the uh, products uh, that does not have like see like if this is the mi brand and we have already added 1000 products of mi and now you are going to lead the mi brand okay then see then it will remove that brand and will automatically add others okay so we are going to do something like this but first of all we are going to complete going to work on the products module and after that we will make changes in section categories and products because if we are going to remove the sections that does contain uh, some categories that does contain some products then what will happen so so that point of view we need to check that thing so because we want to remove like uh, see the sections here like we have added uh, some some categories under appliances and some products under those those categories and we are going to remove this uh, appliances from here then what will happen so those products we are going to remove so that is the big question like appliances will have 1000 products then what we are going to do so we can't delete the appliances like this we can disable it but we must no, not delete it so this delete specific feature we will only give to the super admin okay uh, for all sections and also the same thing apply to the categories like uh, if we have the t-shirts category and we delete this from the any panel then it will delete all the products under the t-shirts category so we need to make sure that uh, this feature must uh, only super admin must have and we will see that we need to give this feature uh, to any uh, vendor or to uh, see vendor we are not going to give but to any admin or sub admin okay so that is the question that we want to give this feature to everyone or not okay so stay tuned for the products module in the next video we will start working on the products module and you are not uh, you are going to learn many new things in this website that how everything works how the how the multi-vendor works how the online store works how the departmental store works how the malls works okay so you are going to learn the new things the uh, the inside the internal uh, happening internal process of the showrooms okay so so please stay tuned for every video so please watch every video carefully so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye